Whoop whoop. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to Planet Base. A really, really in-depth, really, really awesome space building sim, uh, or city building sim, <laughs> in space! It, it's kind of like the Mims beginning, um, but a little more freeform. Less of a game and more of a, a really brutal challenge. <laughs> so, class D, F, and M. Uh, one's an ice giant, one's a gas giant. But this is a nice, accessible uh, desert planet. Lots of light for solar panels. Atmosphere density is high for wind farms, so we'll uh, not name our base, which you can, but just jump into it. It's gonna be great. Ooh, look at it, so cute. <laughs> so one of the things that I, f I found kind of difficult is just the vast amount of stuff that you're given to start with. Um, there's a lot of trial and error in this game. I've probably screwed up two colonies so far without getting very far. As you saw, I only had two out of ten. So it's exceedingly difficult. There's a vast amount of help files. But, yeah, it's not as not as uh, accessible as I would like. So I guess the first thing that we're going to do, um, we can build an oxygen generator. And we'll start it... No. Damn, you kind of want to keep it away from stuff, but not really. It's going to be part of the base. Let's do right here. This seems to be a big open space where we can get at least a little bit of the base started. So oxygen generators coming down. Uh, we will build a solar panel. You can make them larger or smaller, which is actually pretty cool. Oh, actually, before the solar panel, we need a friggin' uh, water extractor. Large water extractor, which will connect to the oxygen generator. That makes sense. Science. <laughs> and then we'll get that solar panel going. I think I probably only need the medium one at the moment. Is everything okay? Oxygen? You making stuff now? Storm power yet? Fuck. Ooh, it's gonna be a cold night. <laughs> These guys are all, like, uh, needing oxygen, so I don't know. It's kind of fucked. We'll add some tables and water fountains so they don't get too, uh, too fucked up out here <laughs> in the dead of space. There's a TV for ya. Meal maker. You guys like meals, don't ya? Go right there. Oh, shit. Ah, fuck. <laughs> and we're out of power. We built too much. See, they're over here doing all this shit. Oh, man. That's really bad. Power will come back on when, uh... Oh, shit, we, we should build a wind turbine. That's what we need. Oh, my God. <laughs> all of a sudden, it's just gone terrible. All right. Try to build that wind turbine up. I don't know what needs power at the moment. Oxygen generator? Oxygen generator's out of power. <laughs> mm, it's bad. The sun's coming up, though. Biodome has no oxygen. Nothing has oxygen. Oh. Our water's being drained, but we can still make oxygen with what we have. Good. Holy shit. Oh, come on. I need daylight, please. We're all out of oxygen. God damn it. Almost out of water. Fuck. <laughs> screwed it up already. <laughs> Alright, friends. So, uh, I built a little more concentrated uh, on the outdoor structures earlier. Unfortunately, I keep having robots die on me. <laughs> I bought robots from a trader and shortly they uh, just went to shit, as I suppose they would. 
on a uh, planet such as this. We've got water tanks though. Um, my biodome's looking pretty good. We can look in there if I hit tab. Well, it's not looking great. I need some more spare parts and stuff. Ah, it's just so difficult keep everything, keeping everything together. I'm trying to build another airlock down here, and uh, we also got a little exercise room and a factory. But uh, yeah, I need to figure out how to how to fix these bots before we're we're totally screwed. Oh look, one constructor bot's alive. Maybe he got repaired by an engineer. That's so wonderful. Can you come down here, constructor bot? There's a lot of shit that needs doing. <laughs> this game is just absolutely massive. So we're actually uh, experiencing a sandstorm event. There's lots of random events in Planet Base, which is super cool. Uh, the sandstorm knocks out all of our solar panels, but wind turbines operate at full power. Uh, anybody outside will work a lot slower and also take a little bit of damage to their health over time. So you can set a red or a yellow alert, which is pretty cool, and that'll lock everybody indoors. Uh, red alert is actually for intruders, like, you'll attack people that try to come into your base. Which can be helpful, especially if you don't have guards, which I don't at the moment. I don't even have fucking engineers. Oh god, it's going horribly again. <laughs> Fuck. Keep going out of power in the middle of the night. Uh, I guess this solar panel does more work than I thought. But it's coming together. I've got a second uh, power collector coming along shortly. It's actually already built, but I didn't build it early enough in the day to uh, fill it up and keep me through the night. As I hope it will do tonight. So, this game, fucking fantastic. Oh my god, I put so many hours into Planet Base already. I was like, okay, sit down and review it. We'll give it a good 10, 12 hours. Fucking, like, 24 hours, 48 hours later. Oh my god. It's just so deep and uh, really hard to do correctly but that's part of the appeal. Uh, the controls I've given a 9 out of 10, really the only complaint that I have is that it's a little hard to click the characters once in a while, especially if they're inside a building. You might click around on the uh, structure, and if they're moving fast, it's especially hard. So, still pretty good, uh, really tight. You can mouse to the edge of the screen or use the WASD, which was missing in the MIMS beginning, which is basically the only other city, city builder that I've uh, reviewed thus far, but uh, yeah. This one trumps that one. <laughs> the fun factor I've given a 7 out of 10. It's such an expansive game. It's really hard to wrap your head around. But uh, definitely fun if you're able to. <laughs> I mean, you can grow your colony basically huge. It's like Banished in space, basically, if you've played Banished. Um, really awesome. You can make your city fucking gigantic. This does move a little slower than that, unfortunately. But... Uh, it makes it all the all the more worth it when you do have a, a gigantic base in space. Space base. <laughs> uh, the difficulty I've given a 10 out of 10. Just to get self-sufficiency, uh, it's taken me about three or four tries. I really got close on the last time and then my engineer got killed by like a random rocket or a fucking asteroid. So uh, none of my bots could be repaired and that really threw a wrench into the plans. But... Uh, Planning for things like that and having contingencies is best, definitely part of the game. Definitely bumps up the difficulty, and uh, I definitely give it props. Good job, Planet Base. Super difficult. Uh, replayability is a 10 out of 10. You can build your base in different ways. Uh, try using different types of bots. Maybe instead of workers, you just want to make a bunch of driller bots, and everybody else can be engineers to just upkeep the worker bots and see how that goes. You probably need some workers to make spare parts because I know. Uh, Bots can't run the metal processors and shit like that, but uh, it just adds a really interesting dynamic. The level of depth to this game is definitely awesome, and uh, I can definitely see myself coming back to it very shortly. <laughs> I love Planet Base. Uh, the innovation is an 8 out of 10. I've seen city builders. I've seen city builders in space. This one seems to be a bit more refined than uh, most of the ones that I've seen before, which is a nice change. Uh, it's super in-depth and kind of throws you in there with a whole bunch of different options and it's a little bit overwhelming at first, but if you just take your time, read through the tool tips, you'll, you'll figure it out eventually. And, uh, definitely worth it. Definitely innovative. Whoop whoop! Uh, aesthetic side, we've got the graphics. The graphics are a little bit low res for my liking, if I'm honest. Um, for an indie studio, it's still really impressive. 
Uh, let's slow them down a little. There they are. Look at them. Relatively good. I've given it a 7 out of 10, which is above average. Um, but I think it could be tightened up just, just a little bit more. You know, it's a bit of a, a nitpick more than anything. I really think it's it's good looking. I like the uh, the different containers of stuff. Uh, or looks like that. Yeah. So you can kind of tell even from the overview all of what you have. The uh, the graphics work really well. It's relaxing. It's casual. It's uh, what I like in the city building sim. The music is pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I think it's a little bit out of place. I'd like for it to be a little bit more creepy and dissonant and space-like. Right now it does have a little bit of a space feel, but um, it's just a little bit boring. <laughs> Which is good because it's not overpowering, but it's also bad because um, I forget it. Forget what the music's like basically as soon as I turn the game off. Um, so yeah, take from that what you will. I've given the music a seven, I'm sorry, six out of ten, and um, yeah, it's not horrible by any means, but uh, could use a little tightening perhaps. The sound effects, I've given a five out of ten. Holy shit! Meteor impact on connection. Let me get this construction bot over there. Um, yeah, aside from the meteors and things like that, the welding sounds, it's serviceable. But definitely not anything that uh, blows me out of the water as far as that's concerned. So average on the sound effects, 5 out of 10. Maybe next time. The story I've also given a 5 out of 10. Completely average. Go to space. Build this base. Alright, fucking got it, chief. You don't really get a reason why or anything like that. I, I mean, <sighs> building the base is enough reason why, isn't it? <laughs> don't you want to go live on Mars? Let's go! Oh, man. The level design I've also given the 10 out of 10. It's just a giant randomized free world for you to build in. And uh, although sometimes these rocks and shit get in the way, eventually when you build on top of them or near enough to them, they will flatten out. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to utilize the space that I have left wisely. Oh yeah, you could totally come over this way. Mm-hmm. So that'll be fun. Hours and hours and hours of fun. God damn! So the total score for Planet Base is a 77 out of 100. That would be a 3.85 out of 5 stars. So almost 4 out of 5 stars. This game is fucking primo. Uh, and definitely a steal for the price. You will put many, many hours if you are into city building sims. I highly suggest checking it out. Um... I'll end the review, but I'm just going to keep playing because I fucking, I can't stop. I love it. All right, so friends, this has been Planet Base. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I do hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe. And until the next time, friends, bye-bye. One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.